This is Dabu 7, an earthquake update, and we have more activity in the Pacific Northwest over here at the Extinction Protocol. They have an article here talking about that as of 1 p.m. on Monday, Oregon's Mount Hood had seen about 40 earthquakes in close proximity in less than 18 hours. Now, we've covered these swarms before, but this is at the southern flank of a volcano. Now, USGS wanted to come out after the swarm was starting to get noticed by several people, and they wanted to state that this swarm was tectonic in nature, not from all the magma moving. Now, they're saying if they saw this activity up here in the dome, then they would be thinking, okay, maybe something's about to go down. I'm not going to rule out that this isn't magma on the move just because USGS wants to state that it's tectonic in nature. Now, we have another one, the most recent one, and the largest one as of late that just hit right here to the southeast of this. Now, some of these could be tectonic in nature. But all the censorship that we've seen in the past coming from some of these big sites leaves you to wonder, and you have to stay on top of it. I mean, you can see this is a very good swarm right here, the southern flank of Mount Hood. Now, it was just last week I was reporting on earth changes, and in that video I was talking about Mount St. Helen seeing the same thing an earthquake swarm. That one pretty much associated with Mount St. Helen itself. And they were talking about magma moving in the chamber inside that volcano. This one, they're trying to say it's tectonic. And this is zooming in here on that spot. And you can see that these quakes are hitting right there up top on the volcano. If you were to go to some of these other earthquake maps, they won't even have them listed because they deem them insignificant or they're too small, whatnot. But a swarm like that is a tall tale sign that there's something going on and to ignore it and not even list it isn't wise in my opinion. You can see there's been some activity up here in Canada Upper New England, and the biggest quake I've seen in some time off the East Coast, a 3.6, off this shelf. But really, it was on no plate boundary. Anything like that just out there off the coast. Now, a big one there would send a tsunami in toward Boston, New York. Western Texas seeing some activity. Western Montana. Nevada's had a swarm picking up. And there were some recent swarms. Three hours ago, Chile, off the coast of Chile. Back out a little bit here and look at this side of the Ring of Fire. You can see there's been a lot of Mid-level quakes, one of the most recent here, Christmas Islands, China, seeing some activity, but all of this small activity. We were seeing some big quakes there for a while, and the, the spots they were hitting, we had Alaska, you know, Chile, known to get hit, Peru, even Ecuador. Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala was an area that got hit. And throughout the past few years, Mexico's been hit with big quakes going right up through here near Texas and even into the Gulf of California. Those areas have been quiet. The Juan de Fuca, every now and then, six-pointer or so, five, six-pointer will let loose over here. It's been quiet. Vancouver Islands. We've seen big quakes in the past few years hit up here as well in swarms, even Alaska, all the way down in the Rat Islands, over into Kamatska, into Russia, 
And then, of course, Japan, we've seen the massive ones that hit there. But it's been rather quiet as of late as far as the big quakes go. So where the next one hits, no one knows for sure. But the United States has several places that's overdue. It's been long overdue for big quakes. Pacific Northwest, New Madrid being probably one of the biggest here that's overdue. Yellowstone itself overdue for an eruption as well as some of these other volcanoes. As you can see here, he was talking about Mount St. Helens. Uh, and then here recently, Mount Hood with the swarm to the south. But the swarm to the south of Mount Hood being a little different than what you just saw there. It's not hitting right there on the volcano. So we're going to keep an eye on this. If these start to march toward the top, you can say then it's associated with magma on the move. And we've witnessed that before in Africa. We've watched the earthquakes literally march right toward the top of a volcano in a blue. So, you know, the West Coast does sit on the Ring of Fire. And these are going to spit out some ash at some point. It's best, if you live in this area, to have a plan. Now, you know, something mega like Yellowstone, if you can prepare for that and plan to survive that, then you should be able to survive any of the smaller activity that happens. Something to think about. Be wise to have a plan. But that's the latest here with volcano and earthquake activity. I'll leave links. It's been Dabu 7.